These cheap pipes will be used to make this saw heater by another blogger. It is obvious that the sun heats the metal walls of the pipes, which heats the air that moves through all the pipes thanks to this fan. This video will describe how such saw heaters can completely heat a house in a cold and snowy region, where complete heating of a house only with solar energy requires such equipment, including this number of saw heaters. These costs will be radically less if we use the types of cheap mirrors instead of the $20 per square meter glass mirrors, and therefore this total cost of the entire system can be reduced to approximately $10,000. We see that the cost of this solar heating system is approximately equal to the cost of traditional home heating with heat pumps or natural gas, for which we will also have to pay almost $1,000 annually instead of our free solar energy. In addition, our free solar energy saves another $1,000 every 12 months of a year by replacing expensive electricity for hot water supply. It is obvious that here on the north side we have to install a layer of thermal insulation with a thickness of 5 or 10 cm as in similar solar heaters. These empty spaces between the pipes should be several times smaller, or we should make the shape of the pipes more oval. This pipe connection is not suitable for us because it creates too much resistance to the movement of air, and this my old video showed the correct types of pipe connections. Also, it might be better to replace this transparent film with a sheet of glass or transparent plastic. Those steel pipes are cheap, but these aluminum pipes are even cheaper. Used aluminum cans gives us the opportunity to assemble even cheaper pipes, and also the internet shows other options of aluminum pipes for solar heaters. We will take an example from this American house. Solar radiation heats the air inside these solar heaters, and the hot air goes between 10 cm stones inside this box and heats them to a temperature higher than 30 degrees Celsius. Here we see thick pipes for circulating the air between the box and the saw heaters, and for circulating room air which is heated by the hot stones and therefore heats the rooms in the evening and at night. Let's place our 100 square meter house near this city in the northern United States, the city of Milwaukee, which has this climate during the months of its heating season, and we see that winters are cold but sunny. So, 50 square meters of our solar heaters should form two or one long row that we see here, and this is a box with 27 tons of stones. This is the circulation of air during sunny hours with the help of this first fan, when these hot stones receive these kilotons of heat from the hot air from our solar heaters during almost seven months of the heating season. This thermal energy completely covers the heating needs of the house when this second fan creates this circulation of the room air during cloudy hours and at night. This is the number of sunny days according to that Milwaukee climate. This is the surface area of our solar heaters, and now I will tell you why this daily heat production will increase several times in this winter months. Here we add mirrors that give this additional flow of solar radiation to this surface of the solar heaters, which also receive this radiation directly from the sun. These mirrors are installed at the beginning of November, and a few weeks later, at the end of November, we add these mirrors whose additional solar radiation increases the heat production even more. In addition, we will install these lower mirrors at the beginning of December, and this solar radiation additionally increases the heat production. These angles and this width determine the maximum efficiency of the mirrors at such an angle of the sun above the horizon, between 15 and 25 degrees, which corresponds to midday in December and January in Milwaukee. Therefore, the efficiency will be lower in November and March, and the mirrors will be almost inoperative in the remaining months. These upper mirrors reduce snowfall on these lower mirrors. We should remove snow from the lower mirrors until mid-February, when their work will become unnecessary, and therefore we can remove the lower mirrors or leave them under the snow. These mirrors should be removed in the second half of February, and these remaining mirrors are removed at the end of March. These wooden structures for the upper mirrors can also be removed to increase the lifespan of their wooden battens. 
Those mirrors not only increase the heat production, but also radically increase the air heating temperature, and therefore these 27 tons of stones can be heated to these temperatures. This is a reserve for heating the house for three or four cloud days in a row, until that circulation reduces the temperature of the stones to this level, and this reserve is sufficient for Milwaukee's sunny winters. You may have noticed that the difference between these columns creates this excess heat which is used for hot water supply through this tank for about a hundred liters of water. The hot stones constantly heat the water not only in winter, but also in the summer months when the temperature of the stones at the top of the box is usually around 75 degrees Celsius.